Hey what's up guys it's Ayn here from the Tech Info House back with another video. So today we are gonna unbox Oppo's Realme 1 and share my initial impressions about it and yes of course I'm definitely gonna talk about the cameras too. So without any further ado guys let's get started. So here's the box, let me just cut the seal open with my trustable small knife. I mean, yeah, it's a small knife. Anyways guys, on the back of the box there is some general information about the device. Opening up the box, we are presented with another box stating Realme, which has the same ejector tool, some documentations and a TPU case. Now that's a good thing, I definitely appreciate it. Anyways, digging further deeper, we get the phone itself. Let's now peel the protective cover off. Okay, now that looks good. But do notice that it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor. Kind of sad. I don't know why you put it that. But anyways, other than that, we get the charger, which is a 5 volt 2 ampere charger. So nothing special there. And lastly, we get a micro USB cable. Yup, it's not USB type C, but the quality of the cable is good. Anyways, let's now get back to the phone and give you a super fast physical overview of it. So over the left you get your volume rocker, on the right you get your power button and sim tray. Now this sim tray is really special as it holds two sims and an SD card at the same time. And that's not it, it supports dual true 4G VoLTE. So if in case you want to pop in two Geo sims, hell yeah you can do so. Anyways, let's now get back to our overview. So on the bottom, you get your trustworthy 3.5mm audio jack along with a single speaker, microphone and a micro USB port. Over the top, you get absolutely nothing. Over the front, you get your earpiece, sensors and one beautiful 6 inch display. Moving towards the rear, it spots a single 13MP f2.2 shooter along with a LED flash and I really gotta give a big thumbs up to Oppo for the design. It really looks amazing guys but do keep in mind this is not a glass body guys and it is really fingerprint magnet so popping the provided case would be definitely a good thing to do. So anyways, let's now turn the phone on and see how the overall interface is. So the phone is all set up. Let's now check the Android version it's running on. As you can see guys, the phone is running on the latest and the greatest Android Oreo. And under the hood, it is powered by the Helio P60 chipset. And I gotta say for the price, this is simply insane. But do keep in mind, if you're someone who likes to game a lot, it is better if you choose a Snapdragon based phone. The overall user interface is typical Oppo's own custom skin that is colorOS which I mean is good and also feature rich but I would prefer stock Android over this. Anyways let me now show you some of the image and video samples that I managed to capture from it. The rear camera samples actually surprised me as the overall color balance and the quality seems to be really good for the price that you pay and also it has that 2x zoom feature which works fine. Yes, it's a digital based zoom but it does its job. Moving towards the front which is a 8 megapixel shooter does a good job too. You can click standard as well as portrait pics and also you have that AI picture or selfie which enhances the picture and as I said overall it is doing a good job. Let's now move ahead and show you how the video quality looks. So guys let's now check how the rear camera of the Realme 1 is and also you can see the audio quality. You can yourself understand how the audio quality is. Anyways let's now see how good it is at focusing. So as you can see guys I'm trying to focus from one object to another and initial impressions are it is actually focusing quite well though at some times it's taking a bit of time but overall it is doing a good job of focusing let's now see the 2x and 1x zoom feature so this is the 2x this is the 1x again let's with try with the cover 2x okay yeah it focused 1x so overall i would say it is doing a great job of recording the video anyways let's now see how the stabilization is let's now move ahead and walk a bit so as you can see i'm walking and let's now try to run and this will give you a 
rough idea of guys how the focusing is how the stabilization is and for the price that you pay and the starting price being just 9000 rupees it is actually really good as you can see guys it's actually focusing really fast for the price that you pay and the 2x zoom also works good actually and okay it's not distorting that much but overall i'm really surprised let's now check how the front camera quality is of the real me one so guys this is how the front camera quality of the real me one looks overall i feel it's doing a great job of stabilizing the frame too and the quality is also good do let me know how the audio output is via the microphone guys in the comment section down below i'm gonna try to compare this uh, phone uh, camera quality with the redmi note 5 pro i know it's too much but i think that it's doing a very good job of capturing the moments in the best way possible with the best color coordinations and uh, that's how i feel guys and i'm gonna try to compare it as i said let's now see the stabilization of the footage i'm walking now let's now try to run so guys this will give you a rough idea of how the footage looks while you run as you can see I think that it is doing a good job of stabilizing anyways let's now move ahead to the other features and talk about it peace out so guys that's how the overall quality is do let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts anyways the one feature i did not talk about is the face unlock and there's a reason to it it's not that it doesn't work or something in fact it works blazing fast but it does not take into consideration some of the basic security measures like unlocking the phone when your eyes are closed which raises the question how safe it is so for the time being i'm gonna not comment on that because oppo is already working on it so guys that's pretty much it for this video if you have any further specific questions do let me know in the comment section down below if you in case enjoyed this video and found this helpful please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this it's ryan from the tech info signing off have a nice day guys